Visit SailRight.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. Hi, I'm Eric Grant with SailRight, and this is a hobbled Roman shade. We have a separate video that shows exactly how to make this Roman shade yourself. But there is one caveat. The lift cord shroud tape is no longer manufactured, and I've looked everywhere for it. It can't be found. So in this video, we're going to show you how to make your very own lift cord shroud tape so that you can still make a hobbled Roman shade yourself. Oh, one more thing. The fabric calculator for the hobbled Roman shade on the other video says that you have to download an app. Well, you don't have to do that anymore. It's available free at the Sayrite website. This tutorial video will show you how to make your very own lift cord shroud tape since it's not available anymore. This is the lift cord shroud tape. You can see that it's basically a line that runs through a very soft material, basically a sock-like material in the center, with basically a slightly reinforced edging. This is pillow protector fabric. It makes excellent uh, sleeves for the uh, lift cord shroud tape that we're gonna show you how to make yourself. We wanna take a clear acrylic ruler, a cutting mat, and a rotary cutter, and we wanna cut strips that are two inches wide. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold those strips in half to equal one inch. So first I'm gonna cut this. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm going to fold it uh, so the edges line up, and then I like to crease it just by rolling it on the edge of a table. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, but it should be very close to uh, perfectly folded. If it's off a little bit, it won't ma matter that much. So we're going to do this to the whole length. Now you want to cut enough strips, obviously, for your entire shade, um, as shown in the in the Sarite fabric calculator. And just so you know, we're, we're going to mention this a couple times, that uh, calculator is now free at the Sarat website. It used to be an app. It is no longer an app. It's something that you can uh, get free at the Sarat website. I've opened up my sleeve here, and I'm going to put my leech line inside right into the fold. And to keep it from pulling out, I'm actually going to sew across the top, and then we'll probably open up these stitches later on. So I have a really fine thread in here, uh, number, uh, I believe it's a 12 needle. So I just want to basically sew that line in. That way I don't have to worry about it falling out. So the, the center of the presser foots up against this raw edge. And I'll put a magnetic guide uh, probably right about there so that I could use that as a, as a, a guide to, to keep sewing accurately. Push my cord in and then I'm going to sew. And I'm set up in about a three to four millimeter stitch length, straight stitch. And all you want to do, you don't have to worry about being anything like straight or anything like that. I mean, just keep pushing the cord inside and then sew. Make sure your tension's not too tight. Um, a small needle and very light home sewing thread will help with that. And we'll sew down the length that we need for our shades, even if we have to make multiple strips like this. And keep doing this, and that's the way to make your very own lift cord shroud tape. Before I show you this process, please know that this is a hobbled Roman shade that's already been constructed, so we're basically just changing out the normal uh, lift cord shroud tape for this uh, homemade one. And so it's a little bit cumbersome the way I'm doing it, but I just wanted to show one sew job. So here you can see the leech line is very much close to that fold but we want to sew to the halfway point of this tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sewing here because we have it pinned right where we need it. And then I'm going to pull my pin out and I'm going to sew with a, about a three millimeter stitch length. One, two, and I'm almost in the center. Right there I'm in the center of the tape and I'm going to do some reversing. And then a little bit of forward stitching because I want to tack this well to that center position. Maybe one more reverse. Okay, and now what I want to do is I want to stop in the center position, rotate the balance wheel by hand, lifting the needle out of the assembly, lift my presser foot, and now I want to push the cord to the middle position, and I usually use a screwdriver for this because the cord, remember, is free floating in this a DIY one. Do it yourself. We'll push it all the way to that middle position, 
like that. And then we'll push this over and lower our presser foot and make sure that we aren't sewing through the cording, which I'm not. And I'm gonna sew on this side forward and reverse a few times to lock our stitch in place and to secure it well. And this will give us the opportunity for this to act just like the other tape did and still allow our line to move freely within it. So you want to follow the same principles for building the hobbled Roman shade except for you're just making your own uh, lift cord shroud tape. So you can see that our line is free in the middle. There's just a string going over the top of it. And that is how you attach these on. We'll do that to all those areas and show you how it works. So this is the attachment point up here. And just below it, I'm going to again um, cut a little lot, hole in it. So I'm going to take something sharp like a seam ripper and I'm going to skewer the leech line and pull it out. Now, if you remember right, on this one, we actually secured it at the top. Um, I just need enough to staple. There's my staple point. So I'm doing it, going to trim it. I'm going to trim it extra long so I have plenty of cord. So I'm going to pull my cord out. And then I am going to fold this. This is where I need it to be in the middle of the board with some extra bulk like three or four layers, like that. And that mark needs to be in the center of this headboard. Okay, now I'm gonna staple through all that bulk and then go vertically like that. Now we'll run our cord through here and then through the cord lock and uh, we'll have to put it in this condenser. We're not gonna show all that. Okay, we're gonna cut this excess off. As you can see, we did it exactly the way we did uh, the hobbled Roman shade. We followed those techniques uh, and put some reinforcement at the bottom and sewed it in just like we did with the uh, lift cord shroud tapes over here. So we followed the same procedure. We just used a different DIY lift cord shroud tape that you make. So we're gonna raise the shade because we've only replaced uh, the lift cord shroud tape on one leg. So when I lift the shade up, you can see that this is the manufactured lift cord shroud tape that's no longer available. And this is the DIY shroud cord tape that you can make yourself. And it functions just about the same as the other one. You only need two materials really to make these lift cord shroud tapes. The spun bonded pillow protector material and the leech line, and obviously thread. Again, to see the full video on how to make a hobbled Roman shade, click the link at the top right. I'm Eric Grant, and from all of us here at Sayerite, thanks for watching.